The post was going to move from downtown Winchenden and they were building this facility. My dad was in charge of getting money and our priest was Father Tisdell. The paintings that Father Tisdell had, and quite an extensive collection, uh, were upstairs on the second floor. So he said, Charles, go upstairs, look at the paintings, and pick anyone you wish for the post. So my dad went upstairs, and he came down a little while later and said, I have a choice. And Father Tisdell said, well, which one do you want? And he said, obviously the, the veteran peeling potatoes with his mother. And Father Tisdell's comment was, well, you chose the most expensive one. <laughs> That's a good choice. It was a very good choice. With, with the comment, hang on to this painting for as long as you can. I still remember Charlie telling me with his crooked finger, he said, <laughs> he pointed at it, he said, I walked around again, pointed at it, and walked around, and the third time he said, That's, That's the one. So. Yes. You see this great, amazing painting that resonates with so many of us? There's a very simple narrative going on in this painting, but there's so much that's being said just in their two facial expressions. Rockwell is the great American illustrator, the great American storyteller. He's Americana. Everybody knows Rockwell. He felt this very heavy responsibility to record American history and American lifestyle. The painting came here and it hung in the hallway on the, above the stairs, going downstairs for probably 30 years. Nobody even realized its value and all kinds of things happen in a post. That's been back when everybody was smoking in here. Sure. And, and anybody could have just lifted it off the wall. Absolutely. And walked out the door and they didn't know it was original until one day a gentleman came in uh, to the post and went down, I'm not sure exactly who he talked to, but he, he, he mentioned, I'll give you $500 for that painting hanging in the wall, on your wall. Mm -hmm. And that's when all our officers went, whoa, we better look into this. Right, like ding, ding, ding. It was kind of a surprise to, to find that there was never any damage or any intent mm -hmm. made lucky. to damage the It's the a miracle. Painting. It is a sure miracle. Is. It really is. To see something so, from you know, the 40s in such perfect condition is extraordinary. Back in the older days, this hall, that, this beautiful hall that we're sitting in, would be packed every Friday, every Saturday. Uh, and of course, every time they would do that, they rent the hall, the post would make money. So that disappeared. When the word went around town that we were selling the painting, boy, there was a lot of people that did not want us to sell the painting. They didn't understand the underlying reasons why. They just heard that we were selling a Norman Rockwell and they did not want us to sell it. Even though most of us didn't want to do it, you know, we're just, I mean, it, it's a heartbreaking, wrenching type of a situation, but we financially, we said it's kind of like our last choice. Yeah, it, was, it was a tough decision. It's a tough decision, but, but I know. It is what it is. It's like, if, if we didn't come up with some additional revenue, this building wouldn't be open. And we'd lose our charter, basically, if, if we lost the building, and all the members would kind of Go away. We need to fix the parking lot. You have some water coming in downstairs. We need a new furnace. We need a new uh, highway sign. There's a lot of repairs. Over a 60-year building, and the list goes on and on and on. That's one of the reasons why we're looking for money. This is this hall here is where I had my wedding reception. This yeah. hall here is where my daughter had her wedding reception. The parties, the retirements, the celebrations, the veterans, the Memorial Day ceremonies. So I just think it would be so devastating to not only the veterans, but all our community members in general. And maybe Father Tisdale knew that someday that painting would save this, save this post. It's an icon in mm -hmm. many ways. It's an homage to American culture and family and tradition and the military and good over evil and peace over wartime and... Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I'm getting goosebumps myself. <laughs> if Rockwell's around and he could capture something, He'd capture us. I know. I know it. <laughs>